And... Shutting me in that crypt. Nice gesture, Valorant. Sorry, which, uh, King's orders? The princess is freed. Ada, Valorant will take you home. Which, uh, second time I underestimated you. Third time's a charm. Faltus gave me something for you in the event that you survived. This is the devil, a Zerikanian scimitar. The legends say it was tempered in dragon's blood. Someone induced the princess's transformation into a striga. I have proof. Where? The king wanted to be the first to know. Fine. Is that all? The king said, if you want to cure the disease, you must go to the old manor. He uh, said you would understand. I do. Farewell. Farewell, Witcher. Mud and Velvet. Um, that's the quest that will be completed during this video. Um, the quest requires you to go to three brothers in three separate caves and give them three hundred dollars each. It's not very hard to do and I'm not sure how good this video will be at showing where the caves actually are but they are marked on your map and just keep trying to find them is all I can really say because it the it may look easy to find the caves but it's more difficult when you haven't seen it before Um, right, at the beginning of the video, um, I had to leave in the part where, uh, what, what's his name, Velorad, I think, where Velorad gives you the reward for saving Ada, which is what I did in my last video, but the video would have ran on a little too long, so I had to put into this one. Um, in one of the caves, you'll find the Royal Huntsman. Um, if you remember, he's the guy that takes the monster heads and gives you money for them. And since, I, I believe it was two videos ago, let's just check. Yes, two videos ago, I killed one of the special monsters for this area. So, I can bring it to him for, I believe it's $1,000. Uh, what I said back at the very beginning of the game was true, that the price of the heads keeps going up as the game progresses. It goes up by 200 each each uh, chapter. Starts at 200, ends off at 1,000. Um, but if you bring him the last head, you, can, you get a choice of either the best silver or best steel sword in the game. Um, I always take the best silver sword, and you'll see why. It's the um, you can get the steel sword a different way, and the silver sword that's your only chance to get it, and it's very useful to have. So this is the first cousin that you have to give the money to. It could be your second or third. There's no specific order that you have to do them in. It just like when I went to the map, it just kind of points to all three. At least I think it did. But yeah, now I'm traveling to the second uh, cave. Yeah, the this this uh, swampy area kind of bugs me because randomly there will be things that you can't run through that looks like they're perfect, like you're perfectly able to get through them. So, and as well, all the really long grass bugs me just because I can't see who I'm trying to get right um you'll also have to fight off a couple of monsters at the beginning of every cave just so you can enter it's just because when you're in a uh, combat mode you cannot enter buildings and obviously obviously if you've played the game or at least have been watching the videos You'll notice that con the combat mode is when the the weird red outlines on the side on the left side of the screen. All right, so here's the second cousin that I found. Um, 
You can actually also cheat this quest. You can only give the money. You can give the money to just one of them. Go to the person you finished the quest from, and then you can kill him and take his sword, I believe. But I don't suggest doing that. Just because I'm the type of guy that, like, when I have the moral choice, I always take the good option, so. As well, you can get the steel sword another way, so. Like, you get it from the crazy dentist. So, I always choose that way, so. I just finish the quest as I'm told, mostly. But, um, I will not be actually getting my reward for the quest in this video. That is for a different video when I actually go back into town. In theory, I probably should have just uh, added in the footage of me handing in the quest anyways, but... It's okay. He's not hard to find. He's that really weird looking... Wait, not weird looking. If you remember back in Chapter 2, when you had to give the wolf pelts to um, this kind of creepy hunter guy... Um, I think he said something about wanting wanting to be a knight. His name was like Jean Paul or something. You have to hand the quest into him, but he's not very difficult to find. But like when you go back into town, he's he's standing right there at the exit. Or he's standing like he's standing really close to where you come in. Like you can probably see him as soon as you load into the area. Now that you've given the money to the third cousin, I will see you people in the next video. Here. Thanks. Finally, I can return home.